Hey up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're okay, hope you're all good. It's springtime everybody. Say hello Mel. So as you can see, the sun is out, so it must be springtime. So it's time for a bit of spring cleaning, not just in the house, but for your finances um, and your mind. Let's get this mind clear because there's a lot going on at the moment and it's getting a bit bad in it. But don't panic everybody, we can sort it out together. So the first thing you want to do is what I do all the time, is basically do one room at a time, go through your house, do a bit of spring cleaning, be quite thorough if you want to. Um, so as you go through it, any stuff you don't want, put to one side. Do the same thing through the rest of the house. Um, once you've got everything together, get rid. Start afresh. Spring is all about starting again, rebirth, freshness. And by doing that, it's going to clear your mind as well. So that's a good way to start off the spring by just having a good old clear out and starting afresh. Once you've done that, then it's time to look at the finances. Um, with everything going on, electric, food bills, it's just getting ridiculous. So to start off with, you want to write everything down that is going out. Write down what's coming in, just your basic amount, not your overtime. Um, and then write down everything that's going out and go from there. Now it is scary once you start writing this stuff down, but you need to do it. You need to find out what's going out so you can try and cut down on those certain things. Once you've done that, then you can start knocking things down if you can. I mean, electric, you can start turning things off, turning things down. Now it's spring, you don't need to have the heating on. Look at other different ways of, of cutting down on electricity and water as well. I've done other videos about that if you want to check them out. The other main thing you can cut down on is food. We spend so much on food. Now you just got to shop around and look at what you're actually using, what you could cut down on. Is there any um, food larders about? Is there any other ways of getting cheap food? Look at other supermarkets. Go online, go on their websites and... Um, Put in the baskets what you usually get and just try and work out if there's any cheaper items there, whether you actually need those things before you actually go in the shop or if you just want to order it online. Now, I like to go in the shop and have a look around because sometimes you could get reduced things. But other people prefer doing it online. That's fine. That sometimes is a cheaper way of doing it because you don't get a temptation when you go in the shop to just buy loads of stuff. But for me, I, I like to go in the shop and have a look around. Now, you can feed yourself for the week very cheaply. Now, I did try and do a £10 challenge the other week. I failed, but I was near enough. you just got to be very clever about what you buy. I mean, a great tip from one of my subscribers, fantastic, I do this now, is I usually buy the red top milk. But now I buy the blue top full fat milk, split it in half into two separate containers, and fill it up full of water. So I've got eight pints for the price of four. There you go. That's another way of saving a bit of money, if you like that sort of thing. Now, if you want to check out the other videos I've done on saving money around the house, please check them out. You might as well look at those instead of me re-explaining the whole thing again. But there, there is so much you can do to, to save money around the house on your food bill. Oh, hello, Mill. And they decided she wants to sit on my knee. You've just got to sit down and think about these things. But don't panic, guys. You will get through this. It, it is fine. We're all in it together. Just stay strong and be frugal. The other things is with your with your car, with travelling. Now, I don't have a car, so that kind of rules me out a bit. But when you have got your own transport, think about where, you, where are you going do you need to go there? Can you do other things on the way? Try and do a lot of things all at once. You are, you're not going out and uh, spending lots of money on diesel and petrol because that's just shocking. 
look at uh, do free activities. Um, there's so much online. Google free activities in my area, and there's so much that comes up. Even like now the sun's out, it's springtime. Go for lots of walks in the woods. Oh, I've said walk. I mean, his ears are pricked up. It's amazing what can be saved once you've written all this down and had a good look. Some of the stuff that goes out of our bank that we pay for, like subscriptions and that, and we don't realise. I do it sometimes. I think, oh, God, I forgot to cancel that. It's only a little bit you can save, but sooner be in your pocket than somebody else's. And, guys, if you're struggling, seek advice. Don't do this on your own. Don't feel like you are on your own. There will be somebody out there to help you. Everybody has to pull together in these situations. And if you're doing not too bad yourself, you, you, you're getting through this situation, you've got some spare money, and somebody else is, is uh, struggling, oh, Millie. and you find somebody else is struggling, then help them out. Help them out what you can. I don't mean just give them money. I mean, if they need something for the shopping, I don't know, putting five pound electric on, something like that. Do a good deed because I'd like to think that someone will do a good deed for you. So I like to, to do a good deed for somebody else. I'm a big believer in karma. So there you go, guys. Like I say, I've got loads of videos on how to save money. Please check them out and stay positive, stay strong. Be frugal and we'll get through this. Don't panic. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell, like what you see, and I'll see you again next week. From me and Millie, cheerio.